Lovebugs, you have now tuned in to my Bad Girls Club Redemption Recap. Guys, be sure to subscribe if you have not yet done so. Also, be sure to share this video on Google+, Twitter, wherever you like to share videos, okay? All right. So, oh, and definitely want to say shout out to some of my Smore Love Bugs, aka my my freaking YouTube family, like The Ghetto View and Mike B80. Thank you guys. I appreciate all the help and support that you have given me to get this channel back on and running. All right, so now that I said all of that stuff out the way, I did wanna go ahead and get into this recap. It's probably gonna be pretty short because it, I felt like it wasn't really that much to talk about. Like it was just straightforward. It was the finale and that was pretty much it. All right, so Laura the Life Coach, she finally gets Julie and Danny to talk again and now they're cool and you know I do feel that that's good because they did supposedly have like a genuine relationship where they used to go to each other's house where Julie used to come over to Danny's house and spend the night and hang out and stuff like that it was the trio it was her, Julie Judy and Danny but coming to the house everything kind of changed so they're back to a good terms Camilla, she makes a good point when they were all with Laura, the life coach. She says that a lot of them are fake. And she was, it seemed like she was talking about herself included. She's like, you know, we're just pretending right now. And then she was like, when they change, when they leave, they're really going to be like the same person that they were before. And it's just a lot of fake sorries and this and that. And I do feel like a lot of that she, that she was saying, even though Rocky was getting upset, was true like a lot of them they're gonna okay yes you know at the end i learned this and this and this and blah 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 but at the end of the day when real life hits they're going to be the same person they were the day before they walked into the bad girls club house well bad girls club redemption house so laura she says that she wants honesty only she doesn't want this whole kumbaya scene where everybody's apologizing and just doing all those fake things she wants it to be genuine and she also says that she has seen a major redemption from them i don't know what she sees but i sure haven't seen it i mean i've seen little changes here and there like with camilla she actually did not hit anyone the whole season that was like a super shocker so i mean there were little things here and there but major nah homie like <laughs> what what have you seen let me know enlighten me Rocky, she calls Shannon because, as we spoke about in the last episode, she's going to be talking to her dad, telling him that she's gay, and she doesn't really know how it's going to, how he's going to react, and that's the biggest thing that she's worried about, like, if, if he's going to accept her, if he's going to, like, say something. So she calls her to get some type of moral support, and... Shannon, she gained a lot of weight, but of course it's because she did have a child. I was just a little surprised that she didn't bounce back because I remember she was one of those people that was always on it, like with the exercise and stuff. But, you know, she is older, but I, I wouldn't really say that that is a main thing because I've seen a lot of people older than her. She's only 28, and they've, like, bounced back. I'm not speaking for myself, though, but, like, other people as far as people that exercise a lot, exercise often. So Camilla, she calls Jada to apologize, and it was funny because when she called and she said, this is Camilla, Jada was like, oh, what's up, baby? I'm like, what's up, baby? Like, are you supposed to be mad at her? I guess, she, like she said, she's not one of those people that hold grudges, but I don't, I wouldn't be like, oh, what's up, baby? Like, that's your homegirl. Y'all been kicking it for the longest, and y'all been good and everything. It, it wasn't even that kind of party, you know what I'm saying? So she tells her that she apologizes and Jada accepts and she once again she just reiterates that she's not the type to hold grudges and she felt like that was very big of Camilla to be able to do that. And Camilla, Danny and Sarah, they went to the club, they come home from the club and Camilla was just being super loud and just like, I don't care, wake up, bitch. you know, just wake up and just being kind of like rude and it was rude mainly because um, the other three girls, Rima, Julie, and and Rocky, they were going to go with Rocky so she could see her dad at the penitentiary or whatever. So And they had to wake up like super early to be able to do that. And she's like, oh, I don't care. They need to wake up. This is our last night in the house and this and that. 
So some of them did hear her, but not the main one, which was Rocky. She didn't hear her. And Rocky, when she was in the car with the girls, when she ended up leaving like the next morning to go see her father with them, she was just like, she's happy that she didn't hear it because it would have been on a pop if she would have heard it. But she was like, she's a light sleeper, but she didn't hear it. So it was like, whatever. Uh, so later on when they come back, oh, before we even talk about that. So Rocky's father, he was like, he already knew because people had told him, they sent him letters. So he was already informed of everything. So, and I was saying that on Beamly. Guys, be sure to check out Beamly. It's a live interactive type of thing. It's almost like Twitter, but it's based solely for shows. So I was saying that, I'm like, yo, I bet you it's not even going to be, what the heck is that? I bet you it's not even going to be as serious as she's making it to sound or making it to seem. I bet you. And what happened? It didn't even turn out to be that serious. So the girls now, they're going to go to dinner and Camilla, she, well, they don't want to go with Camilla because they said how she was all loud and everything and how she didn't care. And she gets a little offended and she's, but she's just like, you know what, whatever, at the end of the day, it's whatever. And she was saying little things here and there and Rima's just like, nobody's scared of you. I thought they was about to fight for a minute there, but they just had like their little argument. And what do you know? Camilla put on, she clothes and she got ready and she went right inside that car, right with them to go to dinner. And I don't blame her. It's your last night. I'm gonna, please. I wish somebody would tell me that I have to stay home because you don't want to go to dinner with me. A dinner that all of us is supposed to go to. Yeah. Okay. You're going to be mad tonight. Yes. So that's exactly pretty much what she did. And you know, it looked like they all had a good time. If they did have any arguments, it wasn't shown. They all looked like they were smiling, eating away and just chilling, you know, just, just having good times, good vibes. And as far as like later on, they, what happened after that? When they, they all like, this is pretty much like pretty much towards the end where they start packing up their stuff when they come back home and they get ready to leave and then they all just say the things that they learned from their season that they were on and then they say the things that they learned during this redemption and what what they have changed and stuff like that um and that was pretty much it the one thing that was shady to me was that you know how even when you're not friends you tend to say bye to somebody like you know, you might even hug it out a little bit. They even did that in the last uh, season with, um, I forget, Laura, Laura and somebody. She was like, you know what, I still don't like you. I think it was Laura and Jada. She was like, I still don't like you, but I'm going to still hug you. You know what? Because at the end of the day, you're my sister or my bad girl sister. Or some crap like that, she said. You know, just to show respect because all you guys were in the same house. But no, Rocky did not do that. She didn't even fake the fuck just a little bit. She was just like walk out the door, slam the door, and that was it. Went right along with her merry little way. So, and Camilla was just there looking at her, smiling, you know. I think she did want to get a bye or something like that from her facial expression. And that was pretty much it. That's, that's all I have to say. With just the last thing is just the reunion. Looks like it's going to be super turned up all the way to the max, you know, to the extreme level. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. I saw a lot of people like, yes, finally we're going to see something exciting. Because, you know, people, they live for the craziness because that's what we're used to. So it looks like that's what's going to happen. Um, Tanisha is hosting again, and she looks like she gets crazy up in there. She wants to fight somebody. Um, and Judy, I'm not sure if she got in a fight, but yeah, I'm looking forward to see what goes down. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.